Hey traders, Optimus Futures here, bringing you another TradingView tutorial. And in this video, we'll be showing you how to use TradingView's built-in paper trader. This is a simulator demo mode for those of those traders with live accounts who just need a bit more practice after they've already received their live trading credentials. So on that topic, I just want to preface this video by saying this video is going to assume that you already have a live account whether it's through Optimus Futures or another broker, this is going to be for those users who already have their live accounts, want to log in and pull the live data from their live account, but want to paper trade using that data. So if you don't have a live trading account with us, this process may be a little bit different as you need to purchase your data from TradingView directly. When you have a live account, at least with Optimus Futures, we enable the market data on our back end. And that way all the data comes through your live account with us. And then you can basically flip a switch here in TradingView that allows you to practice a little bit more. But let's go ahead and take a step back and start this process from scratch. I'll show you this as a new user setting up TradingView for the first time. So the first thing you can do once you go to their main website, tradingview.com, it'll look like this. You want to go to the top left of the platform, right in the middle there, I should say. Go to products and open up your super charts. From here, you'll be brought to this screen and below your chart, you'll see trading panel. Now this may be a little bit scrunched down by default. So if you can't really see it or it doesn't expand like it did there for me, go ahead and pick this white line up and drag it upwards. And you can see all the different brokers on TradingView. If you don't see ours listed here, you can click all brokers down in the bottom right and this will open up that whole list here. There's quite a few brokers. So if you do use Optimus Futures, um, rather than having to come down here every time, I would suggest you just go ahead and click on the star next to our name to favorite us. That'll make sure you're always at the top left here. Now, once you find our brokerage, you're gonna wanna go ahead and click, click our box, and this will open up our TradingView connection panel. If you don't already have an account with us, you can click open an account here and you can ignore the demo section. That's not where you're gonna be focusing on here. You're gonna be logging in with live. So go ahead and click connect. This will open up a new website. You'll see it says TradingView powered by CQG. CQG is the data feed provider that we use for TradingView. Now, if you've gotten to this point and you have a live account with Optimus Futures and you wanna use TradingView and you aren't familiar with the CQG login or don't have one yet, go ahead and reach out to us at support at optimistfutures.com. We'll give you a hand. We can configure your account for TradingView. There's a specific form that you need to fill out that you just need to fill out, request TradingView, and then we'll send you over a CQG login. But just keep in mind, if you haven't specifically requested TradingView from us, don't try and log in here yet as you probably don't have the correct login. We'll provide that to you. So once you get to this point, please review the email you got from our support staff and you can go ahead and type in your username and password here. For security reasons, I'll go ahead and fast forward this part of the video and blank this out. I'll resume uh, right when we're ready to go pick back up. Okay, so we're back. My trading view, account, trading view account is being logged in here. And as you can see, we're now logged in on trading view. Um, in the top left, you can confirm you're logged in because you should see Optimus Futures live. It's highlighted with the green bubble here. And you'll also see your name next to Optimus Futures live. Now in order to paper trade, if you see this, this means you are live trading. Do not try and place any orders just yet. To activate paper trading, what you wanna do is click on Optimus Futures live in the top left of your trading panel. You'll go ahead and click see the brokers list and this will bring you back to the TradingView connection panel here. Now keep in mind, you're still logged into TradingView with your live account from Optimus. It's still pulling in your live data. But what you're doing now is essentially putting like a film over the platform. It's just telling TradingView that you wanna activate their simulator account, but still keep your live account logged in. So all you need to do now is click on paper trading in the top left here, and then go ahead and click connect. It'll give you a little disclaimer and it'll let you know that this is known as paper trading. It lets you practice in buying and selling securities. And in our case, it'll be for futures trading. 
in this process is similar to trading, except there's no real money involved. So again, this is completely risk-free. You can actually customize your balance and I'll show you how to do that there. And they just say, you know, they're paper trading tools. It's perfect to polish your skills. You can track everything, trade history, profit and loss and more. And we can get into that in a bit here. But once you're ready to start practicing in paper trading, known, otherwise known as simulated trading, you just go ahead and click connect. And you can see instantly, my name is no longer here. I have an Optimus Futures USD or test account. And I have a brand new balance in the top right. So as I mentioned, you can actually customize your balance if you want to. You just need to create a new account. So you can click the account name where your name used to previously show up. Click create account and name it whatever you'd like. I might suggest to name it something very obvious that you're in demo. Just so in the future, when you're in the swing of things and trading, you can just refer back down to that and look at your name. If you see it doesn't see your actual name and you see whatever you named it here, you know you're paper trading. If you see your real name, you know you're live trading. So again, I could go ahead and name this whatever I'd like. I go ahead and change my balance. If I want, I can trade my change my currency as well. Just keep in mind with Optimus Futures account, the base currency is always going to be US dollars. And then you can include in commissions as well. Um, go ahead and type in whatever you'd like. You can type it in as a fixed or percent amount. I could tell you that with Optimus Futures, the commissions are not shown in real time. They're deducted when your statements release each night. Um, for So if you're looking to replicate the live experience exactly, you may want to disable this. But if you're familiar with the commission structure, just go ahead and type it in here. You can type it in if you like, and that'll give you um, a bit more realistic view of what you would have been charged in those trades. You can go ahead and click create once you have it. I can go ahead and expand this section down and now I can start practicing. You can see I have my three demo accounts here. They all have different balances. I can swap back and forth if I want to. I can customize them again or add more accounts and then I can start paper trading. Like I mentioned before, this pulls in the live data from your live account. So if you just happen to randomly come to TradingView, not log into your Optimus account first and then log in, you can check on the top left of your chart. You'll probably get delayed data. But because we have a live account, we're connected to live data through our live account. You can see it says the market's open. I'm getting live data and now I can paper trade again. We can confirm. I check my account. It's in demo. I can go ahead and place my orders here. It's the same exact thing you've already done on trading view. It just now it's risk free. I can practice as much as I need to. I don't need to risk anything on the line. It's all hypothetical fake money and you can practice to your heart's content. You can check your orders here down at the bottom. They'll um, they'll show up if they are, or excuse me, for any order history you have here, it'll show up down at the bottom. Um, I haven't gotten filled yet on this order, so nothing will really show until it's active, but I can go ahead and cancel it, modify it, all my history again down at the bottom. If at any point you wanna switch back to your live account, all you need to do is click on paper trading Go to C brokers list, and this time you're just doing the opposite. You click on Optimus Futures again, and like I mentioned, your account is logged in and held in on the back end. So you don't even need to type in your username and password this time. You just come back here, and now I check my name. And if I can confirm it's my real name, any new trades I place will be live. This is how you use paper, Trading Views Paper Trader. It's very simple. Um, not many people happen to know that this is available. So we just wanted to show you that if you have a live account with Optimus Futures and you subscribe to live data with us through CQG, you can use that data right on TradingView's Paper Trader. There's no additional fees to use it or no market additional market data fees. It's just available right through your account. So we hope you found this video helpful and thanks for watching.